Hello everyone, I'm Evelyn Charma. Um, I'm the director of Ed Elf Child Therapy Limited and the Child Hypnotherapy Institute. Um, but you may not know, I'm also a children's workforce development uh, trainer. Uh, I design and deliver training for um, all sorts of organisations. If you work with children, young people, I can usually come in and train your team. Um, and I've worked across uh, every sector. So I've got a 37 years background of working with children and families across the charity, non non-profit sector, the private sector, and also in local authority. Um, and I recently uh, designed a course, which is a, a CPD accredited one day program. And um, it's called, and I'm reading because it's quite a mouthful, um, supporting staff to develop skills and confidence in understanding and resolving conflict in families of all neurotypes. And I just thought I'd give you a bit of a flavour of the kind of feedback I got from that. So the way that I... Um, tend to run courses is to meet with managers in advance and really drill down into the sort of staff teams that are going to be attending and what their outcomes are and what their projects look like and what their services are um, and collaborating on what the needs are there training wise and then I'll design and deliver the training and um, and then a couple of weeks later because I always I'm very hands-on practical trainer and I give out loads of resources and teach people how to use them for good outcomes with children and families and then a couple of weeks later I offer a online sort of zoom video catch up with those trainees to look at reflecting on practice and how they've used some of the resources and what they've learned on the program uh, and last year um, I had gathered some of the stuff that people said so I just thought I'd give you a bit of a whistle-stop tour of that. Uh, so these were people who worked uh, direct work with children and families who, uh, some were teams who worked in youth work and in youth justice work, some were working with families on the edge of care, um, either in early help services um, at high level or in intensive family support. Um, you might work with programs such as the Trouble Families or Think Family programs and um, professionals who are working with signs of safety and professionals who are working with children at risk of criminal exploitation and child sexual exploitation. So they're the kind of professionals that were on this program. And I think there was around 80 or so um, people who came on the program. OK, so... Um, Staff reported that they used their resources and were able to implement them really easily and were able to find that they had some really good outcomes, particularly where they had been stuck with families, and things like that. So I've just highlighted a few. So using stress response activities, um, someone said it was really good to help a young person understand her own responses and anger and see how others might goad and coerce her into these reactions and how she might react differently for a different outcome. Brilliant. That's what we want. I mean, you know, my only motivation is to help children and young people. Um, so, you know, you're not going to be able to, as a professional, help everybody in every situation. But developing your confidence um, and your understanding is really brilliant in terms of getting better outcomes. So this is great. Uh, someone else said they used it for creating a situation where the family are now having meaningful conversations instead of arguments. Love that. Um, you can see there are others here. I've just highlighted a few so that this uh, short video remains short. Um, ACEs, now that's um, Adverse Childhood Experiences. And um, I provided staff with a, a questionnaire they could use with adults to really explore uh, their own childhood experiences. And somebody said it was really helped with understanding better the reasons for parental behaviours and reactions. Alongside that, um, I provided a parenting styles tool. Someone said this hit a raw spot when used with a stuck family who are in and out of services and who have previously not acknowledged their own responsibilities in their parenting styles or the impact on their children. This tool helped these parents to see clearly how their parenting impacts on their children. The tool is transparent and was very powerful. A dad said there's no hiding from this. 
Love that. Um, and staff found this helped the parents to work with services to accept their need to adapt their parenting. And this is it. These conversations are really tricky for professionals working on the front line to have. Um, you get a lot of resistance and you get a lot of uh, disengagement from services. And these are non-threatening kind of activities that you can use with families in order to help to promote that engagement. So I'm really happy that the feedback was so positive on that. Um, I love that one as well. I didn't highlight it. This helped me to move a parent along. Yeah. Explore where they are at and why using the indicators and potential outcomes for children and plan for how we are going to get there. And it is, it's about working together. Yeah. Collaboration. Using zones of regulation, um, which is a... a mainly a way of helping children to learn about emotional regulation and what it's about and the different levels that we can achieve when, when we're stressed and things like that. And someone said, and I really like this, one of my families has printed these and put them on walls around the house. They now check in with each other which zone they are in. Isn't that great? No family's going, ah, this will work for us. You know, this is something we can all do together. And this helped a parent whose child struggles to communicate. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, I'm very solution focused and I use a solution focused scale all of the time. In fact, most of these, if not all of these, are um, activities and resources that I use on a daily basis with different families. As a therapist, I've used them as a um a safeguarding lead in a special needs school and assistant head. I've used them when I was head of boarding in a residential autistic uh, school. Um, I've used them across uh, training schools, um, across things like safeguarding. You know, they're really adaptable is my point. So you can use them with pretty much anything. Um, someone said in front door referrals, staff used this to help a parent identify key goals for intervention and used the scale to identify the most desired outcome. This helped the parent pick one thing they wanted help with to get to their ideal, which reduced overwhelm while agreeing right from the start, the main focus and priority of the work. And yeah, I'm sure most of you can relate to that. You know, families are complex, aren't they? And people are complex. And it's very rare that someone has one problem to solve when they're in your service. So, you know, it can help people to really prioritise. And I liked this one. It enables me to get to best questions. Isn't that great? So getting to best questions um, and, you know, good as good assessments are ongoing. They're dynamic. And asking best questions is something we do all of the time. It's not something you do with families just at the beginning of a piece of work. Okay. Uh, exceptions to the problem. Now that's something I use in different ways. There's loads of resources you can look at for that. Um, but people responded by saying things like use dynamically with a single parent and uncovered issues that were not uncovered in the early help assessment, which led to a referral to men for mental health support for the parent. So valuable. You know, might not have got to that without using this particular questionnaire. Um, reciprocal roles, cycles of behaviour handout that I gave them. Um, they said they blended this with something called the cycles of change diagram to get better outcomes and plan for exits and strategies to move someone away from their cycle of behaviour and have choices. Really empowering. And someone said they used it with a young person wanting to move in with one parent, turning their starting point of I'm unwanted to I'm unique and important and discussing their choices. So hopefully you get a bit of a flavour there of some of the feedback I get from working in this way. And I, I do think that when you work alongside teams and you help them to learn in a way that is really engaging and dynamic, but also really practical and saying, try this and try that, you know, um, it is really empowering. Staff always say to me, I felt really, you know, motivated and empowered. And I feel like I've got some more tools in the old kit bag. And that's what it's all about. So, yeah, I'm not just a therapist. I'm somebody who provides bespoke and tailored training to children's workforce um, all over the country. And if it's something that you're interested in finding out more about, you can contact me on my email, which is evelyncharmer at outlook.com. 
Thank you for your time. And any questions or anything you want to talk about that's come up from this short video, please do comment or contact me. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye, everyone.